Hey guys, this is Shiraz from Integration IT. Uh, this is a quick video how you can create an agent for your Avaya contact center select. So first thing you need to do is you need to log in on your web application and CCMA and then you log in as an administrator or any other admin account you can use and then you can click login and the second thing is what you need to do is you need, you need to go to the contact center management okay and if on the left hand side you will see the server and below that you will see the number of uh, the supervisor so you select any of the supervisor you right click on it and click add agent so now you can see the agent details the area which we need to fill uh, to create an agent so let's create a sample agent sample agent okay I'm just gonna copy this one same and then put it over same then this is the login ID so this login ID is is for the agent and make sure the extension what you create on the IP office should be the same so apparently the agent ID and the extension for the agent will be the same so I'll say 1000 as you can see my SIP URI address becomes 1000 at the rate SIP whatever it's in your case domain.com and now the second thing is what you need to do is you need to create an uh, and credentials for him so for so he can log in on the application so just say one two three four five six one two three four five six okay and here you can select the supervisor to whom he should report so you select the supervisor for him and you select the call presentation uh, which is which is suits your your call center and if you are using the multiplicity presentation class you can select whatever you have created so at this time I will keep it with everything is uh, default you go to the contact type okay so if he is an incoming call agent so you just need to select voice if he is using the uh, social media or email uh, for the email you select email fax outbound so accordingly you can select the contact type so in my case I'm using the in incoming uh, call center so I'm using the voice and the next thing is you need to select the skill set so this is a skill set which you define or you create in the script like how the call has to be treated and where it should route so so if if this agent is specialized in sales so you can assign him the sales skill set or marketing skill set so it's purely depending on your on your business requirement so in my case I'll just select the the default one because default so I'll just select search and I can select as you can see the rest of the skill sets are are grayed out because I did not select all of them in the voice contact here so since it is only the voice so the default is available for me so I just select one or you can keep it for the standby it's up to you and the partitions is is something if you have the multi-tenant contact center so you can create multiple uh, vendor or multiple customer partition and you can assign this agent to that partition so one vendor or one tenant will not see the other tenant agents so in my case I have only one tenant so I can select this one or you can leave it as default so I'll just select submit and you should be able to see some success message all right so you can see now my agent is created it's available and it has come under the SS supervisor so it's a very simple and easy way to create an agent uh, go through the video again and try to create your own, own agent I hope you like the video please share subscribe thank you so much